Hey, what's going on everybody? I am the original gamer, Stevie Stroh. Let's get our joysticks ready, put our headsets on, and get our game on. What is going on everybody? It's your old pal, the original gamer, Stevie Stroh, and we are back for another exciting video game showcase on the Radio Shack TR-80 Color Computer, also known as a Coco. And what you're looking at right now is the first of hopefully a handful of what I will call video redos because what I'm going to do is I'm going to redo a video I've already done for various reasons and the reason I'm redoing this one today is because it was brought to my attention by Curtis Boyle who is um, a new friend I've made through the color computer communities that there are other and better emulators that do a better job of emulating some of the colors as they appeared on actual television sets so um, one of the things about this computer is that the only colors that you really saw in this particular black and white mode were black and white, red and blue. And those red and blue colors were what were known as artifact colors. And the not too technical explanation for that is, is it has to do with how the video signal is generated and how the television is able to process that signal. And it actually created um, the illusion of red and blue. So the very fact that these games have black, white, red and blue, that was a bonus. The red and blue were technically two bonus colors that looked like colors due to imperfections in the television signal and processing. And that was still pretty good. However, what some people did is they took it an even further step by creating what I would just call hybrid colors. And they will then mix certain colors to create the illusions of, of even more. And that's typically done through like checkerboard patterns. And so one popular thing to do would be to checkerboard red and white, and that would look like orange or yellow. You could checkerboard blue and white to look like light blue and so on. So this game actually, especially in the diamonds, which I've now all destroyed and I'll try to get to again, this, this game did a good job of creating these um, hybrid colors and I ran out of bullets. So we'll try it again. And so it's just kind of a cool thing. It's kind of a nostalgic thing. And it's one of these things you kind of had to be there to even know what I'm talking about. But right now, before I start shooting, look at the diamond. So I have a dark blue diamond, a purple diamond, a light blue diamond, a dark red, a greenish looking diamond, and an orangish, yellowish looking diamond, right? So all those colors there are colors that I'll call hybrid colors because it's really a, an even further illusion of taking the two fake red and blue colors that aren't really there and making them look like even more colors. And it actually looks really good. This, the name of this emulator I'm using right now is called XROAR. And there are links to all things color computer on my website. As I'm getting more active in this, I am uh, compiling information because I'm on a kind of a rediscovery right now. I'm learning things that I either forgot or didn't know about um, by a pretty large community between Google Plus and Facebook, there are at least a thousand people I'm now um, potentially connected with. Um, there's a good half a dozen to a dozen who are very active with uh, the things I'm doing right now, but I'm definitely part of a pretty big group and it seems to be a, a very well connected and collaborative group. And so I'm really excited about that and so I'm learning a lot. I'm learning about a lot of websites, I'm learning about a lot of resources and projects, and as I learn about these things, I'm sticking them up on my website. So if anybody who's interested in this computer, especially those of you who have been saying, I wish I could play these games, well, you can. I mean, I'm playing them on a PC. The software is out there that will let you play these things on a PC. Um, so if you go to my website, you'll see how to get some of that stuff. So I'm gonna try this one more time, and then we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. But I was hoping to, on this redo video, to be able to clear one round and get to the little dancing bear and see if he looked any different. All right, that's it. I have tried and I have failed way too many times. So once again, this has been a color computer redo of Shooting Gallery. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, mash that like button and give it a big fat thumbs up. If you have not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you got something you'd like to say, throw out a comment. Tell me what you thought about this video and tell me what you'd like to see next. And I'd really love it if you could share this video with your friends. Help me grow my channel. And if there's anything else you need to know about me, visit my website, ogstevystro.com. Until the next time, I will see you all later. May the force be with you. Peace out and bye-bye now.